you're not going to fool them with any uh, anything. They have a great system. It's sound. It's multiple, and they really create a lot of problems for every offense they play. And, you know, even last week, you know, you can get fooled when you look at the final score. When you look at the game in the fourth quarter, it's a one-point football game. So uh, this is going to be a big challenge for our guys. Absolutely. I also saw they finished the they finished last season first in turnover margin in the nation. Yeah. I know you talked a little bit um, during fall camp about you know wanting to change kind of the nature of the turnover margin here. Is that a team that you know you might have looked at to kind of I guess lead by example? And, well, every team we play is trying to get the ball out. Mm -hmm. and it's the number one proven indicator of winning and losing over the last 100 years of football mm -hmm. since the football was invented. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a good start. We had no turnovers. Uh, but that doesn't mean we're going to have no turnovers next week. So we got to have the same uh, focus in our preparation. we got to have the same focus during game day on protecting the football. These guys do a great job of trying to get the ball out. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously we were all pleased with the results, um, but I also think it's important to objectively evaluate each, each player individually, you know, regardless of what the result is. And, uh, you know, our standard is that you do your job and that you do it the way it's supposed to be done. You know, sometimes you can do your job, but you didn't quite do it with the right technique or the right effort, the right toughness. And so if you can do your job and do it the way it's supposed to be done and you do it you know, more than nine times out of ten, then you're going to probably have a heck of a day. I don't think anybody did that. So we have a lot to improve on. Just because the result was good doesn't mean we don't have a ton of improvement to build on. What are you looking to improve then on this week? There's really not anything we can improve on. And, uh, so this is going to be a huge challenge for us. It's one of the best defenses in college football. I mean, statistically, they were best in their league. They're one of the top in the nation. All their top guys are back. Uh, so this is going to be a big challenge for our offense. Yeah, well, Taylor came in and, and really had a great first drive. You know, he had all the ones in. I thought it was important uh, to give him a drive, you know, the ones around him. And uh, I was real proud of how he functioned. He did a, made a nice check and throw to E Hall under duress, managed the offense well, made a nice throw on third down. Uh, so that was encouraging, but uh, you know it was a small sample size, and we got to keep continuing to get better. Yeah, he's he's made a big jump, and I think Taylor is the more knowledge he has on uh, how to execute the offense, the more comfortable he feels, and the more confident he plays. And so as he learns what we're doing and how to do it, he starts playing better and better. Barry told us after the game that you started going purposefully into runs, no matter what the RPO dictated because you were kind of tired of throwing the ball. How, how common is that? And is that anything that you kind of resisted going to doing? Or were you well, kind of easy to do? It, it wasn't necessarily me tired of throwing, but, you know, it's it's trying to play winning football. You know, we were up by a pretty big margin. And so at, at some point in the game, you want to eat the clock up, shrink the game, and not put the ball at risk and making a mistake and create some bad momentum for you. So, you know, I'll never get sick of trying to win. And that's really what the objective was, to try to win the game.